Hello, hi, hi everybody. So this is Nilesh. So we are going to see the uh, withholding tax topic today. So first one like is the purpose. What is the purpose of withholding tax? Then second, and what are the set of steps involved for withholding tax? And then third one is how to apply withholding tax on AP invoice. And fourth one is uh, what are the accounting? Uh, okay. So we will see the first. Okay, what is the purpose of including tax? So, if the customer want to the withhold tax amount charged by the supplier in the invoice, and he want to pay the tax amount directly to the tax authority instead of paying to the supplier. Okay, so system will automatically create withholding tax. So we need not enter the withholding tax manually. So system will automatically create the withholding tax on invoice. Okay, then what are the set of steps involved <coughs> in the withholding tax? So in our case, in that case, so I will putting, I will put the two two tax rate, one five percent rate and ten percent rate. So there will be two two line create, one for five percent and second for ten percent. So what are the set of steps involved in withholding tax setup? Okay, so First one is define the withholding tax special calendar. So here, in the first step, we have to define special calendar for withholding tax. Okay, so we can't use normal calendar for withholding tax. Okay, then second option, define the withholding tax authority supplier. Then third one is define the withholding tax score. Okay, then fourth one is define the withholding tax group. Then fifth one is enable the withholding tax option at payable option level. And last one is enable the withholding tax option at supplier and supplier side level. So both are uh, setup level, uh, setup level setup. Okay, so these are the mandatory setup for withholding tax. Okay, so now next step. So we will see now one by one how how we can change how can do the withholding tax setup in the system. Okay, so we will see one by one. So first one is uh, define the withholding tax special calendar. So for this we have to we have to navigate the payable responsibility. Okay, then navigate to setup calendar. Then special calendar, okay. Okay, so here we need to enter the like name, description, periods per year like this, and we have to select here withholding tax as a type. Okay, because this is the special calendar, so we have to select the calendar type here. So we have to select withholding tax as a type. Okay, then. We have to enter the details like uh, uh, 12 periods in a year. So we have to enter the all the period. Okay. Once we create the calendar, then we have to save the changes. Okay. Okay. Got it. First point. Then second one. Define the withholding tax authority supply. So for this, we have to navigate. Switch to the account payable responsibility. Navigate suppliers entry. Okay, so this form will open. Okay, so we have to click on create supplier button. Okay, so this form will open. So we have to enter the like organization name. Okay, so what will be the name for authority? So we have to enter the organization name. Then we have to enter supplier type and then tax authority. Sorry, tax country. Okay, then we have to click on apply. Okay, then we have to go, uh, switch to the tab organization and we have to select the type. So we have to here we have to select the tax authority as a type. Okay, then next one is so we have to click on apply. Then after clicking on apply, so confirmation will be there. Changes to organization have been successfully saved. Okay, so this one supplier level. So how to apply the side level? 
So need, we have to create the site and for tax authority supplier. So for that, we have to click on add this book. Then we have to click on create button. Okay. Okay. Then after clicking on create button, this form will open. Okay. Then we have to enter the like all the address details like country, address details, then city, county, state like this. And we have to uh, select the address purpose like purchase and payment. Okay. So these uh, details require as per the require. So this depends on the address. So after filling the all details, click on continue. Okay, then we have to select the operating unit. So for which operating unit we have to use this site. So if we have multiple operating units, so as per the requirement, we have to select the operating unit. So here only one operating unit. So tick on the select checkbox and click on apply button. Okay, so after click on apply button, so we will be the greeted with the following message like this, this site successfully created okay then we have to so navigate go go to the we have to go payment details okay so we have to select here default payment method so whatever like cash check electronic so as per the requirement we have to select the payment method so here select the default checkbox and click on save button okay again here we can see the confirmation message okay so after that next step will be define value set for value withholding tax okay so we for that we have to switch general ledger responsibility then navigate to setup financial then fix field and where key and values okay Okay, enter here the uh, value set name and click on find button. Okay, click on find button. So here we need to enter the code, code com, uh, value, uh, value set code. So here we enter the withholding tax code like enter the details and description and we have to select the qualifier. So after filling the all details, click on save icon. Okay, so successfully save the value set. Come on, come on. Okay, then next step will be define the withholding tax code. Okay, so for that we have to switch to again account payable responsibility, navigate to setup, tax, withholding, and then codes. Okay, so here we need to mention what will be the tax rate percent, like 5%, 10%. So in our case, we are defining two two rates, five percent and ten percent. So we will define one by one, five percent and ten percent. So first of all, we have to enter the operating unit detail, then description, then GL code. Then we have to enter the tax authority created earlier. Okay. Then we have to select the withholding tax account created earlier from the list of value. Okay. And also calendar also need to select the calendar created earlier okay so these all the details need to enter okay okay and then we have to save the changes so once we save the page they automatically tick on the enable checkbox so after saving the changes so enable uh, enable checkbox automatically tick this is the enable checkbox okay then second 10 percent okay again we have to enter the all details whatever like created earlier like uh, uh, tax authority then side then gl code then tax code like this and then enter here 10 percent rate and again save the changes okay so the next part next setup will be tax group define the withholding tax group so for that we have to switch to the accounts payable responsibility, setup, tax, withholding, and groups. Okay, so here we need to mention the groups name, then description. Okay, then if you go to the if you 
see here tax code in the under the tax code so we have to enter the tax code created earlier so we have to enter the operating unit details then tax code and then uh, tax authority details site details like this and here one is the important point is rank okay so rank uh, like all of the tax code in the withholding tax group when we define the group so when we enter the invoice and enter the withholding tax group so payable calculate the taxes in order of the rank so lower rank taxes are applied to the amount of the invoice okay so the rank will be important in the setup withholding tax setup so so rank lower rank taxes are applied to the amount so lower ranks means one lower two higher like this okay then next one enable the withholding tax at payable option so uh, here we we will see the how to uh, withholding tax how to enable the withholding tax at payable level so for that we have to switch to payable responsibility setup option payables and payable option okay so once we open the payable option so need to click on withholding tax tab okay then uh, we have to tick on use withholding tax once we click on this checkbox then uh, withholding tax enable okay so in payable option set apply withholding tax at the invoice validation time so here what at the time while uh, doing the invoice validation once invoice successfully validated then withholding tax automatically applied on the invoice so this is the option this is the withholding tax which event on the create okay then uh, we have to select the tax group created earlier and after filling the all details as per the requirement as per the need save the changes okay then again we uh, here we will see the how to enable the withholding tax option at supplier and supplier side level so for that we have to uh, switch to payable responsibility go to the supplier supplier detail okay then query the supplier okay so here uh, we need to go to the tax detail so here we need to tick on the allow withholding tax option checkbox okay then once tick on the allow withholding tax with checkbox so invoice and payment withholding tax group is editable okay so here we can select the invoice withholding tax group and payment withholding tax group okay select here as per the requirement okay so uh, uh, after in filling the all details click on save button okay so once click on save button so we can see here the confirmation message okay again we need to click on allow uh, we need to open the supply side level we have to go supply side level then here we also we need to select allow tax withholding tax checkbox okay then we have to select withholding tax group from the list of values created earlier okay so here we need to select again tax group in checkbox and then click on save button okay once we save the button here we can see also confirmation message so these are all the same important setup parts of withholding tax now next part is the how to apply withholding tax on a pn wise so for this we have to navigate switch to accounts payable responsibility navigation invoice form like invoice entry invoices okay so we need to enter the all details like how you operating unit then trading supplier supplier details supplier side okay then all uh, uh, all invoice invoice header level details okay then we have to again uh, enter all the details header level details then we need to go line level details so we have to enter here line level details then go to the distribution need to enter the all distribution level details like amount account code combination like this okay so we have to now we need to validate the invoice so for that we have to go action button click on action button okay click on validate checkbox okay then click on okay button so once validated the invoice so withholding amount 
withholding tax amount automatically automatically come in with field field so here we can see the 145 amount in the withholding field okay so now we have to go uh, <coughs> line level detail so here we can see the two lines generated for withholding tax withholding tax type 1400 and 1445 so calculation happen like this so uh, 10% on 1000 like uh, yes 10% 10 10 on 1100 and second line will be 900 on 900 5% so 45 5% on the 900 so both line are negative okay if, you, if we scroll the right side so here we can see the line source automatic withholding okay so after that we have to create accounting we have to generate the accounting so for that we have to click on action button then click on create accounting final post checkbox and then click on ok button okay so accounting has been successfully generated okay then for uh, view the accounting we have to navigate to reports view accounting so here we can see the invoice accounting so accounting entry will be like this so expense account debit 1000 and liability account credit 1000 and for the withholding tax two lines generate one like ap liability account debit two lines like 1400 1445 and withholding tax payable account credit there are again two lines 1445 and 1400 okay this is uh, the accounting int okay and then we have to uh, view the system generated withholding tax invoice for the tax service so again go to the payables then invoice form okay then click on find the icon enter the type as a withholding tax then dates click on find button okay so here we can see the system generated withholding tax invoices again the tax authority okay so again we have to generate the accounting and then again go to the reports to accounting so here we can see the accounting like this withholding tax uh, payable account debit and IP liability account credit so both uh, single single invoice we can see the different uh, accounting like 45 uh, different accounting and 100 400 different accounting so this is the uh, like process and setups and uh, like uh, transaction for withholding tax then again we have like one form withhold uh, withheld amount so we can use this form for see the withhold amount so go to navigate to the payables invoice inquiry withheld amount enter all the details like oh you lay operating unit tax code then period name supplier details and click on find button okay so here we can see the withheld amount details with all the details like tax code period name operating unit and withhold am withheld amount like this okay so these are the like possibility uh, like all the uh, important uh, important setups and uh, accounting of the withholding tax okay now next will be what is what will be the possible uh, question on the withholding tax so first will be like what uh, is the purpose of withholding tax so already i explained then second one what are the setup steps involved for withholding tax so this also explained accounting so both like accounting also uh, uh, explain and then fourth one is how to apply and check review the tax on invoice so so uh, it's like uh, we can apply the tax uh, like uh, automatically apply on the tax invoice so we uh, once we validate the invoice so withholding tax automatically apply on the invoice okay and if you want to review and check the tax on invoice then we have to go to the line level details and we have to the we have to check the line level type and amount all things so these are the answer for the fourth okay so thanks for watching my this video so if you like this video then subscribe and like this my channel okay thank you bye bye